based on uh, a guy inspired based on a movie called The Hate You Good. Yeah. Um, and then I also read that book because that's the the main idea was to speak for yourself, to speak out your voice, and then to like to be brave to speak out your opinion. So I think that's really important and. Society should, the society should be really inclusive. So I think this artwork is really meaningful to me. This image are developed with the theme of space and light. So the theme of the images are both is contrast. The contrast between bright and dark. Also the linear perspective helps the, to, de help to demonstrate the illusion of space. The theme of the artwork below is curvy lines. Together with light and shadow, the curvy lines on the ground coincide with the curvy lines in the sky, creating beautiful interrelations in terms of space. The intention is to show space by using visual techniques and express my interest. I use a lot of medium and uh, skills to done this. Look like the background. I use my finger to get a paint and create a illusion of like confusion and uh, chaos. Basically, the background. I want to show that the background of this girl is on, uh, in the hill, while the the tattoo on her body is representing her brave to love like never mind the scandal and the lines this is one of her attitude and we can see the tail that shown and uh, also the leg the water drop shape here also shown um, she she is not a human anymore but even even through he, uh, she has become an evil, but sh uh, she's still holding her um, original thought to love and to live. Is this a specific person? Mm, no, I just randomly like took it from the internet and then I just like uh, draw it and paint it. and the poor, like the rich become more rich, but the poor stay poor. So in the artwork itself, it's like this girl going to the orchestra, but like because she's dressed like this, the guards won't let her in. But actually her face is like drawn like this because she actually has a lot of 
past knowledge about like music and stuff, which is actually like why she wanted to go in, but she's not allowed to because she's wearing rags. Hence, they think she's like a rag queen. Hence the crown. Yeah. For example, using painting only the outline. Like I've never done that before, and um, you know, painting a huge artwork like this, I've never done that before. So, and also I think uh, the subject matter, you know, like the whole ironic um, representation of biblical uh, of a biblical message using cartoon characters. It's you know something you know, fun and cheeky that uh, that really allowed me to express myself more. Instead of biblical figures, it has Garfield characters on it instead. So uh, the intention behind this artwork was to um, juxtapose two different cultures. So one pop culture, one more of a religious culture that's really prevalent in my country, the Philippines, as a Roman Catholic country. Um, so using these characters as biblical figures creates a sense of irony in a way. that I used to create this artwork really helped me learn. I think because I used watercolor for this and I've never done like a full painting of watercolor. Um, it was very challenging so I had to learn new techniques and new ways to create different shades with watercolors and how to create the sh like shade. So yeah. And I think it looks quite nice. So this is how I feel, like expressing my emotions. 